Hey there guys, um, I'm here with a little tutorial that I want to do um, to install this the um, Optifine mod for Minecraft. Um, if you don't know what Optifine is, it's a it, they have different ones. Uh, they have just a standard. It gives you you know HD textures and all that, and um, it gives you uh, it makes your whole Minecraft graphical experience better um, but right now I'm just focusing on the smooth one um, the smooth it removes lag spikes um, it makes your game run smoother it gives you a ton more options to change or like things turned down to make your frames per second better um, it's I've heard uh, people say that it's for people that have slower computers so they can at, let their Minecraft work a lot better. Um, right now, browser's yelling in the mic, and it's kind of making me laugh. But anyway, um, you get it here on the Minecraft forum post. Uh, I'll post this link in the description, so you can just click on it, or you could Google it. Just go to Google and type in Optifine, and it should pop up as like the first thing. Um, anyway, we'll get on with it here. Uh, when you get here you want to go to you want to see where it says smooth um, and you click on this download thing right here it'll pop up with the ad fly and whatnot you have to wait five seconds um, which isn't too bad you click on skip ad and then you will click on this right here and it'll start the download um, I already got the whole thing so um, we'll just continue here just close out of this and minimize this okay once you download it uh, you'll get this little thing here um, as you can see this why it looks like this and not like a folder or a zip folder is because I have WinRAR and you need WinRAR or 7-zip to um, to be able to install this mod uh, without that you can't open up your minecraft.jar and when we get there I'll tell you exactly what that is and everything um, yeah so you open up once you open up this uh, you'll see that um, you have all these class files now you need to install these class files into your minecraft.jar so to get there you go here to start and you type in percent sign app data just spell like that and then a percent sign and you'll see up here this roaming folder will pop up so once you go there you go to your dot minecraft folder then you go to your bin and then you go to this right here this minecraft now you don't go to the 1.2.5 if you have it. Um, I have it, but you go into this one, this this one just called Minecraft, and you will right click and go to Open with, and then WinRAR Archiver or 7-Zip, whichever you have. I prefer WinRAR Archiver, and I suggest that you get it too. Um, so you click on that, and then you'll see this is your minecraft.jar that I was talking about earlier and you need the WinRAR to open it so now that we're here uh, if you have if you don't have any mods installed or anything like that you'll have a meta inf folder like somewhere in here in this area and before you do anything you want to delete that because it won't allow you to have the mod if you um, have the meta inf folder still in here so you want to delete that. Um, and also, on a side note, if you already have MC Patcher installed, which is a HD texture um, patch little thing, uh, this can actually, I believe it conflicts with the MC Patcher, because when I tried to install it before, I couldn't install it, and I already knew that I had MC Patcher installed, so once I cleared out my everything, and I didn't have that mod anymore, I installed it and it worked. And another thing that this Optifine thing has, by the way, is it has HD texture support, so you don't have to install the MC Patcher. But anyway, 
um, you just click on this first class in your Optifine folder that you downloaded and you I press shift and then I scroll down and then I click on the last one and by pressing shift it will just highlight everything all at once so now that I have everything highlighted just making sure that I have it all highlighted you take these and you drop it into this section right here with all the other class files now I already did that because I installed the mod but what you do you just drag it over here and to all with all these other class files and then once it puts them all on there you just click OK this little box will pop up and you just say OK and then then you're good the mods is installed now and then you can close out of this and close out of this and then you can start up your minecraft and you log in my frames will probably drop maybe right now I don't really know but um, actually I'm not really sure if I'm capturing minecraft at the moment but um, we'll just go to the server um, okay so when you open up this you'll go to options and video settings and you'll see that you have all these different settings that you didn't have before you installed the mod so I mean you'll have the regular graphics the smooth lighting and you'll have this render distance thing that's a lot different you can actually go farther render distance and like a super small render distance just in case like you need an even smaller render distance than like what the regular is um, and another cool thing about this is if you don't know what something is you can just hover over it and this box will pop up and it'll show you exactly uh, what that specific thing does um, and what the setting what different settings are and stuff so that's cool and um, if you go to details you can turn water it says right here you can turn it to a fa or fast which is lower quality it will help you get more frames or whatever and your minecraft runs smoother so basically that's what it is it it gives you a ton more options and you can turn more things down to make it run better and um, I don't know it just it helps out a lot with different things and uh, that's basically uh, what it does in a nutshell I guess and like I said you can it already has HD texture packs you can just go there and click on them you can switch them on the fly uh, with this um, mod or whatever as you can see our, I just changed the texture pack um, and yeah so that's I believe that's about it for this tutorial um, showed you how to download it and install it and everything and I hope that your minecraft will work better now now that you have the mod installed so um, yeah see you later